Hey, all right, how is it going? Now, I was in the car, just doing the test to see if the Kona could defrost the windscreen pretty fast, and it did. But there's another thing I wanted to talk about, so I'll do it in a separate video, and I think it's quite significant. Uh, and it's, it's from an article by here from Auto Express. Uh, I got it here on my phone, but there, okay. Um, and it says, plug-in hybrids face strict emissions tests in 2025 as misleading efficiency figures are targeted. Now, I think this is quite significant. I, I think it's going to uh, be relevant to not just FEVs, but hybrids, petrol cars and diesel cars. When I say diesel cars, diesel cars don't hardly sell any cars at all at the moment. And I think that's going to go to non-existent eventually. But... Um, There'll be a few die-hard people who still buy diesels. I'm not. I'm not. When I when I mention diesels, diesels or petrols or anything, I'm not having a go. I'm just stating facts that the sales are stuff. Okay, so don't get salty. Um, now, uh, plug-in hybrids face strict emission tests. So it says more realistic emissions testing could see substantial tax uh, increases for FEV drivers. Now, like I said, this article. Is pointing towards FEV drivers only for some reason, but these emissions uh, rules, which start in 2025, which I think they start now in January 2025. Um, I read the article and it said from January 2025, which is now, <laughs> uh, any brand new vehicle, and that means what they're trying to say is any new vehicle that isn't out already, if that makes sense. So a, like, like a brand new, if a brand new type of vehicle came out. So not a brand new registration, a brand new type of vehicle. This starts from January the 1st, 2025. At the end of January 2025, that then targets all new registrations, all new vehicles. So not a new type of vehicle, but all new vehicles from the registration. If that makes any sense. Does that make any sense? It makes sense to me. <laughs> hey, right. So it says down by here, let me try and get to the thing. It said existing Euro 6 emission standards are going to be superseded by a so-called, why does they say so-called? It's not so-called, it is called uh, Euro 6E BIS test or by ES tests. Uh, and like I said, it's from January the 1st, 2025, then updated to the end of the year, 31st of December, for all new cars, new registrations, that means. Uh, it says, previously, the emissions tests were conducted over 800 kilometres, but now the 6E BIS ups this to 2,200 kilometres. And it's got an example by here, the... Uh, BMW X1 X-Drive 25E, long name. Uh, it's hard to remember names like that, isn't it? Under the revised revisions, uh, under the old emissions test, it said that it was four, 45 grams kilometre, right? 45 grams per kilometre, okay? Under the new test, I think they've already done a test on it, that goes up to 96 grams kilometer okay uh so that's quite a significant jump uh under the old rules uh the banding um let's have a look there the banding had it at eight percent for tax rules that would take it up to 24 percent so it's a massive jump um then further down it says in 2027 which is significant as well the It'll be the Euro 6E BIS FCM test. Video protected. That's my dash cam going off. Uh, it'll be 122 grams kilometre, um, which is a massive jump. Now, I think this is going to have a massive impact on petrol and diesel cars, hybrids, plug-in hybrids, all that sort of malarkey. It's not going to affect BEVs, but it's going to have a massive effect on them type of cars because it's going to push up the the grams per kilometer kim 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 what's a kilometer <laughs> kilometer uh so it is significant it's going to change all the taxing for you know uh, company cars and everything like that which would make company cars 
probably buy more just pure electric cars. That's just my opinion. You can disagree with me down below. Now, I know that some people who dislike BEVs and whatnot are going to complain and say it's all about government control and all that sort of nonsense. Uh, but it, what it's all about is getting emissions lower. That's what it's all about. That's the end game. Because somebody said to me, right, um, in my last video, a bit of a waffle by here, but in my last video, somebody said in the comment section that uh, the the... Electric cars is all about government control. And he said because they're going to tax tax the electricity on your house. I don't think that's going to happen. Because uh, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be pay per mile. They're not going to tax the electricity more on houses, household electricity. I think it's going to be pay per mile. Anyway, let's get back to what he said. He said, it's all about government control and they're going to stop you from moving by taxing electric cars and putting tax on home electricity. Now, my reply to him was, they could do that already. If it's all about control, all they're going to do is raise the... Um, oh, it's a bird by the side of me there. I'll just turn the camera on. Really, like, just caught my eye there, like. He's gone now. Um... I get loads of birds by here. I get all different types of birds and squirrels and a heron. Anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying now. <laughs> they could put the price of petrol and diesel up right now and and ramp the tax up on petrol and diesel car, cars. If it was about all about control, if it was all about control, they could do it now. They don't need electric cars to do that. It's not some big grand scheme to get everybody in electric cars because they could do it right now right now today they could do it tomorrow we could wake up tomorrow and they could say right the fuel duties going up by so and so uh they could do it right now they could do it right now but they don't because it's not it's just it's like 15 minute cities come on <laughs> 15 minute cities is not about trapping people in 15 minute cities because look logically i know i've gone on a, on a bit of a rant now right okay but 15 minute cities would mean right that people couldn't go to work outside it, look, think of it think of <laughs> think of how stupid it is right think of how how the the system works okay where people travel further away for going on holidays days out uh, going to work 50 minute cities would cripple the economy the economy would be crippled completely uh, and it just it wouldn't work the economy would fall flat completely with a 15 minute city if we was trapped and the economy would fall flat if the government was planning on stopping people from moving in their cars you've got to think logically think logically okay <laughs> anyway that's my bit of a rant in the car today just a bit of a follow-on video from the ice thing uh the car did it's the car still warm now i've turned it off but the car's lovely and toasty anyway if you did like this video and my waffle don't forget to give it a like subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one Ahoy!